And now the man who knows that no matter who the guest is, the show is always about him. The host of Wind Funnel, Dino Bravo. I am entertaining, and I know what viewers like you want. I've been behind the wheel of a race car, I've been underneath the race car, turning the wrenches. I've been on both sides of this desk. I've been behind the camera, I've been in front of the camera, and I will bring 30 years of motorsports journalism to you in your living room. Welcome to another edition of the Wind Funnel. I am Dino Bravo. Thanks for joining us. We are delighted to have the driver of the Pocket Sports number eight live from Chicago via satellite, the rock star of the HOCC, Tony Perkins. Tony, welcome to the Wind Funnel. Oh, thank you very much. Glad to be on Wind Funnel. It's a great show. The promoters of the Line and Kugels Grand Prix of Chicago have done a masterful job of making the entire week a party. It is truly a C and B scene event down there in the Windy City. I'm assuming you have been to many of these pre-race parties and festivities. So when did you get to Chicago, my friend, and when are you leaving? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, man, uh, it's a big weekend, of course, in Chicago. You know, I got to Chicago uh, Friday night, uh, you know, by private jet, of course. Um, went directly to the uh, first party of the evening. Uh, see who was there? Uh, the Rock was there. Uh, Lindsay Lohan was there. Paris Hilton was there too. You know, we tried to get O.J. Simpson there, but he was in trouble in Las Vegas, so uh, he didn't make it. But, but uh, all the parties that uh, that went on in downtown Chicago were fantastic. We even uh, hung out with uh, with Hugh Hefner at the Playboy Club. Tony, the switch on the schedule, the Grand Prix of Chicago, goes from spring to fall. So is spring or fall a better party in Chicago? Oh man, I'd say that spring was the better party because, uh, you know, NCAA Final Four or, or March, March Madness was going on. It was late in the season and that kind of thing. And hey, there was no party like the one that we had back in, uh, back in March when Amy Butler won this whole thing. You know, I can't imagine anything being bigger than that. Tony, you're a part-time driver on the uh, HO Champ Car Trail. Does that put you at a disadvantage to the other drivers on the series? Uh, no, not really, because, you know, it's just a matter of I'm just coming here for the fun and everything, fun and excitement, and if I win, that's cool. If I don't, no big deal. Last year in this event at the Raceway at Grant Park, Amy Butler scored her first career win, a much-anticipated win, I might add. The city may never be the same. The HOCC may never be the same. A lot has been made about the fact that you are still in search of that much elusive HOCC first win. Can lightning strike again here at Chicago? And if so, how long, my friend, would the party last? Well, shoot, uh, you know, I think if, if lightning strikes again, it'll probably hit Dan Margetta instead of me. <laughs> and, and maybe ignite his championship hopes and everything. But, uh, but you know, if, uh, if I win, uh, you know, uh, it'll mean a lot. But uh, if, I, if I don't, you know, it's just having everybody over to, to have fun and, and uh, race in the, in the series. Uh, as long as nobody tears up my track, I'm cool. Hey, it's somebody stealing the car. Last call. <laughs> Time for 30 seconds with Tony Perkins. Tony, you know how this works. I ask the quick question, you give the quick answer, and we'll get through as many questions as we can in 30 seconds. All right, here we go. Tony, Roger Moore as James Bond or Pierce Brosnan as James Bond? That's <laughs> James Bond. Uh, Pierce Brosnan. FHM or Maxim? Um, shoot, man, that's a tough choice. Both. <laughs> Knight Rider or Starsky and Hutch? <laughs> uh, uh, Starsky and Hutch. Chicago or Indianapolis? Uh, Chicago. Ooh. Fruits or vegetables? Uh, vegetables. Slow gin or gin rummy? <laughs> slow, slow gin. What, what was that again? Slow gin or gin rummy? Oh, uh, slow gin. And finally, Eddie Murphy or Chris Rock? Chris Tucker. Tony Perkins, my friend, thank you so much for your time. Good luck this season, and thanks for being on the Wind Funnel. Okay, wow, that was hot. Again, I am Dino Bravo. Stay tuned. The Chicago Line of Kugels Grand Prix is up next on HOCC TV. And we're coming to you south of the border, the Wisconsin-Illinois border, that is down in the great city of 
Bartlett, Illinois, a suburb of Chicago. It's the annual road trip for the HO Tam Car World Series. This year, the stop number two on the schedule last year was later in the event. It's the Line on Kugel's Grand Prix of Chicago. I'm here with Tony Jack Arud. He's got a football field named after him, just remember that. And uh, Tony, this is a great event. Yes, yes. You know, we always look forward to, to doing this uh, this year, or every year. And no, oh, thank you. On the microphone. <laughs> I'm just accustomed to that. Yeah. See, you, see you, Dan. See you, Dan, Tommy. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, we really enjoy uh, having this event. And this is the uh, uh, second time this calendar year we've had this event. Amy Butler uh, scored that huge victory last uh, last time. She's not here to defend her title. But, uh, but Mark, this is going to be a, a neat uh, race today. That it is, you know, interesting as usual. And as you can see, Tony Perkins fans have shown up in force and decorated to begin the uh, nice event here. So we'll see what happens. And uh, oh, wait a minute, wait, 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 wait. I got that. Dan, Tommy, Kendall, we got a breaking message here. Uh, Amy Butler refuses to show up at this week's race because, according to her bet with Larry Rodder last week, if he failed to win, he was supposed to do the windows. He did not show up, and she's actually at home cleaning the windows herself as we speak. What do you think's going to happen today, though? I mean, it's always anything, a surprise here. Anything can happen in Chicago. That's the oh, okay. Let's see. <laughs> anything. Can, yeah, he's, he's he's extremely busy today. Uh, anything can happen in Chicago, as we saw last year. You know, this is a track, and and uh, and it's very competitive uh, for all the drivers. And uh, hey, you know, Larry Rodder's here, and uh, and Chris Spirit won the uh, the last the opener, race, yes. I remember. So uh, so we're starting off to a really interesting season. Well, you know, the, the good thing for Walzak, no Amy Butler fans, so in, in the final, uh, you know, 40 seconds, you can't be, get hit with the, in the head with a beer barrel. Exactly, you know, Walzak went out the last uh, last minute of the last race, so uh, so we'll see what happens. H-O, let's go! H-O, let's go! Let's go! Take me, baby, show! Do I start now? You start now. Start now. Okay, here we are for the the Line and Kugel's Grand Prix of uh, uh, Chicago. Chicago. And there on the pole, that's Mark Walzak. I heard he got hit with a beer bottle last time he was here. Hopefully he won't get hit again. And that guy next to him is they're calling this guy the toothless cat. I'm not sure why, but that's Larry Rodder. Back here in row two is your point leader. That's right, point leader Chris Spirit. Say that three times fast. Say that three times slow and think about it. Point leader Chris Spirit, the zero car he won last race alongside of him. That's his father, Tom Spirit, the number two. That car there, that's the number one car. That's the Red Bull Got Wings car of uh, of uh, Jim Iverson. And uh, there's that darn Barbie car again that keeps showing up like a bad penny. That's uh, Andy Spirit. That's a neat looking car, isn't it? Back here, these guys hit the invert every week. That's Dan Margetta in the seven car and Mike Kristoff in the three. They make up the second last roll. And this car here, this is the hometown favorite in the Canadian Pacific Railroad car or something like that. I don't know. But Tony Perkins all the way from Indiana. We're glad they have him back. Woo! It's heat race number one ready to roll off. Hometown favorite Tony Perkins lining up in this one. You see him right there in that brand new car. The uh, red and black in the red lane. Next to him, Andy Spirit, and then your defending series champion. That's oh, Tony needs a push from the straight from the start finish line. So he is going to be trailing. Oh, look at this! We got Andy Spirit challenging Jim Iverson, and Iverson pulls out ahead. Now Dan. Tommy Kendall, last year, of course, the big story here was Amy Butler winning her first race ever and, of course, going on to that uh, amazing string of races she had at the end of last season. She's not here, 
So all eyes look towards Tony Perkins. That's right. He's he's the next big feel-good story in the league. And they're waiting years and years and years for Tony Perkins to uh, win a race. Got a lot of fans on edge. It's kind of like Cubs fans. They've been waiting about the same amount of time, I think. And uh, you know, and who knows? The Cubs are good right now. Maybe maybe this is Perkins' day too. But he's really got to pick up. Both their years. It could be both their years. Ah, uh, boy, the planet's really got to line up for that one. But you know. He's got to really pick up the pace, but he's doing it. He's reeling in the second place car right now of Andy Spirit. What you're looking at there is the remnants of the very popular Barbie car. It's not where it's supposed to be. It's off the course, out of the park. Goodbye. See you later. Out of the race. Andy Spirit on the hook. He's going the first car on the hook in Chicago. The famous hook has claimed one, and Andy Spirit is out of this race. We're going to catch up on Andy Spirit. It's our first casualty of the uh, event. Andy, it's a pretty short-lived event for you, but uh, it's pretty spectacular. Yeah, it's kind of kind of bummed a little bit. I thought I was doing pretty good. I didn't know if Jim was just messing with me, but I felt like I was staying with him, so it just got the best of me, and I tried a little bit too hard. I, I, mean, I know it was possible to crash out there, but what happened? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I went too fast through the corner. What do you think uh, R.J. Foyt's going to say? Your owner is pretty good. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to stay away from him for a while, but uh, he'll catch up to me. We'll see what happens. He'll be going into hiding against Andy Spirit. If you can't be good, be spectacular. He was good and spectacular Where's today. Where's the beer? Where's the, there we go. Well, we've managed to catch up with uh, here in one of these uh, beautiful luxury suites that line this beautiful Grant Park Raceway here in Chicago with uh, Andy Spirit's team owner. That's RJ Foyt. And RJ, it's been a tough day for your team. Yeah, I just hope that he ain't dead. Well, yes, uh, we did talk to the driver, uh, and it looks like he's, he's not injured. Good. I don't know where I'll be getting another driver at this point, so we, I can't afford none of my drivers to get killed in this, you know, so far. That would be a horrible tragedy. Uh, m your other driver, Mike Fitzloff, isn't here. We, you know, we, we ain't heard from him for about a week. We ain't sure. We heard he's down in Mexico somewhere. Well, I know the mosquitoes were getting the better of him back at the uh, mini mile. He might be down in Juarez or somewhere. We're trying to track him down. We got the detective agency trying to get a, get a hold of him. Oh, well, we certainly hope to see him back for the next race. Uh, you know, what is it you can tell your driver after uh, such a tough finish for today? We'll just uh, get back in the car next time and try not to get killed. And Tony Perkins running second place right now in this heat race while Jim Iverson continues to run out front and advance to the final. Of course, we do have the transfer position available to make it into the final, so the second place finisher in one of these three heat races will advance if they have the highest lap total. And Dan Tommy Kendall, that really has to be the goal for Tony Perkins. That's what it is right now. It's all strategy and, and cut laps. That's all he's got to do because there's only two cars in the racetrack. That means no traffic. That means there's no slowdowns. And uh, if you can put the highest lap total, you'll make the final. Oh, and then he has a spin right there as time runs out. Tony Perkins finishes second. Jim Iverson advances easily. It's heat race number two ready to go. Mark Walzak, last race winner Chris Spirit, and Dan Margetta. That team hindsight struggled mightily at the last race. First lap is going to be led by Mark Walzak, followed by Chris Spirit. All right, we've seen a couple of spins by Mark Walzak and also some amazingly good sportsmanship by Mark Walzak. But in the meantime, it has cost him, and Dan Margetta is closing in. You see the car on the inside lane right here. That's Mark Walzak, and then coming right behind him, the other blue and white car. He's running second place, Dan Margetta. And it looks like uh, Dan Margetta has turned enough laps to at least currently sit in the transfer position. They're running side by side, but Dan is one lap down. Dan came back from about four laps down at the at the midpoint. <laughs> and yes, the amazingly good uh, we, uh, HO Champ Car officials have already decided to, to award the Lady Bing Trophy to to Mark Walzak, and there it goes. <laughs> Walzak wins the first uh, second heat race. Okay, atomic batteries to power, turbines to speed, and it's time for the last heat race. In the middle, it's Larry Rotter. On either side, it's uh, on the left, that's Tom Spirit. On the right, it's Mike Kristoff. Rotter, a little bit slow off the line, but he makes it up right away at the end of the first lap. He's in the lead. Larry Rotter leads to Chicago in the second heat race, followed by Spirit and Kristoff. Of course, Larry, and Larry, an accident, right underneath the hill and underneath the bridge, and Kristoff now leads. Kristoff and Tom Spirit going at it now. Oh, Tom Spirit gets by, doesn't he? 
We can expect Larry Ryder to come up uh, from behind in this group. And look at this section of the racetrack right here. When the leader, Tom Spear, comes by, you can hear the car actually scraping the track. It's that low. We're going to put the mic out here and see if we can hear this. And here comes the final minute now. I'm looking at the boiler. He came here by boat today. You see the hat. They were the last guys to leave. They took the ferry. A three-hour tour at that. But he's leading this heat race over Larry Rodder, who just spun again, who's fighting for the transfer spot. It's going to be very, very close. Four hours to go. <laughs> with Tom Spirit leading right now. And there's Larry Rodder in the black car on the inside. He's trying very hard to make up the time. I don't think it's going to happen. 30 seconds to go. Tom Spirit is out front. Ten laps for Larry Rodder. We'll watch it here in 30 seconds. That's a. It's that's very close. The transfer spot will be right down to the fraction of a second, just the track length. That's as far as Larry's got to get. Mike Kristoff crashes. Tom Spirits out front. We're looking at Rodder. Look at the determination for him. 15 seconds to go. He's got four laps to do it. Three laps to do it now. He can do it. Two laps to do it. You're looking. We're not. One lap to do it. He's got to come all the way through and around. It's stopped. He's going to be short. That's the winner. The boiler turns the hat around, puts the rally cap on. He's headed to the finals in Chicago. Tom Spirit, your winner of heat race number three. Tom Spirit, a surprise in the final four, your first final in Chicago. How is it, how's it, what's it like? It's fantastic. I, what can I say? It's Chicago. I made the final. I almost didn't make it. We ran into some really bad traffic coming down here. I was kind of disappointed in my uh, Chicago drivers because I thought they went faster than what they did on the expressway. But we made it anyhow, so I'm happy. I'm going to win this one, I think. All right. Yeah. Tom Spirit in the final four. Okay, all of Dan Margetta's fans are also gathered around here Woo! watching uh, f to see whether or not Dan can take his second, your second uh, race here. Have you, you've won here once before. Yeah, we won here once. Um... We'll see what happens. The car's not fast. It's pretty slow. Last year, I had to take Walzak out and Butler to win. Maybe I'll take Walzak and Iverson out and Spirit will win. You know, I had some practice. I came down here for an ARCA race in Juliet a week ago and got some practice driving through the tollway. And, you know, if you can put every car with a still high state plate in the wall, it's the way to do it. And that's, that's what happened. So we're ready. We're all jacked up, ready to go. Okay, Dan Margetta using the eye pass to victory at the Final Four. Mark Walzak and uh, Mark, you crashed out at the very end of the race, chasing down Amy Butler. Uh, yeah, don't got... remind me. I still kind of got a bit of a headache from that because of that. Oh, my, oh well, that well already. It, that's not a good sign Amy at all. Butler's fans already sabotaging this place. I mean, come on. <laughs> we want Amy Butler. I oh, you. see. So, uh, so what is your strategy to, uh, for this race? Uh, get, get as far away as, from everybody as I can, and uh, bring bring home the pull money and take as many points as I can. Okay, it's it's chaos in the paddock. Let's. Let's get back to the race. It's at the London Kugel Grand Prix of Chicago. And the car in first race, right? The first place is Mark Walzak. He's being chased by Tom Spirit. There's a quick spin by Dan Margetta. And he balked Jim Iverson in the process. Mark Walzak leads at Chicago in the early going. Well, this has been Team Spirit season so far. Chris won the opening race at the Mini Mile, and right now we're watching Tom Spirit, that blue and white. The Metazone car is out front of Team Spirit. That's Tom Spirit this time around. He's got about a two lap lead. Right now the race is for second place as Spirit has pulled two laps ahead and the teammates of PKVHO Racing continue to battle for second place. Got, oh no, that car just went on the floor, that's Jim Iverson. Iverson right in front of us. He's out. He's out. We're going through the uh, garage here, and we finally caught up with Jim Iverson. And Jim, I tell you, you know, you had some uh, hopes here to get your second victory here, <laughs> but uh, but you were in a, involved in the struggle the whole race. Yeah, I was involved in the struggle. The car was better than I thought it was going to be. I couldn't keep up with Tom, but I could run with my teammate and run with Dan. Dan and I tangled a few times. And we were running, 
and I just overcooked it. That's it. But you know what? I missed this race last year, so any points I gain here, I'm plus, a major plus. All right, fantastic. And of course, Jim Iverson uh, seated back here with plenty of the uh, Lon and Kugel's product in store. Tom's spirit has tapped out the speed and has lost the lead to Mark Walzak now. Of course, this is where we found Mark Walzak one season ago. It was while Amy Butler ran second to Mark Walzak. And Walzak, like his teammate, this season put the car on the floor. It's a one lap lead for Amy Butler. Now it's less than one lap. Time is running down and Mark is really coming fast now. Time is running. Oh, and a spin and he just put it on the floor. He pushed it too hard. Mark Walzak just put it on the floor. He was closing. Could have easily maybe even won this race. But instead, oh, he finds himself in fourth place. Oh, we'll see if Mark is able to hold on to the uh, handling on this this car this season. And it looks like he's going to put another la a lap down now. Walzak has really stretched things out. This car is flying out there. Okay, Dan Margetta. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Dan Margetta, he's waiting and waiting for his car, his car to be serviced and Oh, oh they, they've got a problem. They're taking off the bonnet oh, in the back. The they're pulling off the cowling. It is done for Dan Margetta. As they say, game over for Dan Margetta. Dan, uh, a tough way to end this race. I, I clutched it. I want to get some wings. <laughs> Kaboom. Time to go. Took out Iverson. Mission accomplished. Go get some food. All right, it's a 12-lap lead now for Mark Walzak over Tom Spirit. The other two cars in this final, as you've seen, are out of the race. And so where is everybody? They are huddled around the wings. The entire crowd has left the, basically the entire track empty, and they're all standing around the table of wings and other, other goodies there. A well-catered event, no doubt. All right, now, uh, we found this camera, and Chris Spirit is here from Team Spirit. Chris, uh, uh, who's, who's the camera operator I, here? I, I don't think he has credentials. I think we got to kick him out. We, we need security to kick him out of the track, I think. We need to find out who he's with. There's been some allegations of people using a videotape to uh, get uh, illegal signals. Excuse me, can I, uh, we need you to leave, to leave the pit area? Oh, sorry. I, th I, think he, I think he's got like a New England Patriots shirt on or something. <laughs> or a t uh, Team McLaren, I don't know where he's from. That looked like a PKVHO uh, oh, sweatshirt that, he that, was wearing. That's what, that's what it was. You're exactly right. We're going to file a complaint with the commissioner, I think. 30 seconds left. <laughs> Mark Walzak was your pole winner in this race. And, of course, if you win a race from the pole, there is a prize fund equal to $1,000 for every driver entered. It's been rolling over for several races and it's up to $53,000 at this point. And there you go. Mark Walzak wins and also takes home a big bundle of cash. Mark Walzak, the winner, and he wins the money. Pulled a victory money, $53,000. $53, and it's got to feel good uh, to win here in Chicago. Oh, uh, you know, after last year, you know, I don't feel, you don't want to say any track owes you a win, but you know, four races here, four podiums, and uh, you know, just to get this this first one here, it's just amazing. Does this make up for the disappointment uh, of last uh, the last race? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it, you know, it helps out a little bit from the last time, but uh, wow, it, it, I just don't know what to say. It, it's just unbelievable. Okay, do you wish Amy Butler was here uh, to, uh, to to be able to beat her at this track? Well, I don't know if Amy was here. I might get that with another beer bottle, so you never know what's uh, what's going to happen, but. <laughs> Well, well, there's plenty. Of, there's there's at least one bottle here that you're going to be happy with. This is the uh, Lining Kugel's uh, victory uh, podium uh, and uh, and uh, first place uh, trophy. Congratulations and good luck for the rest of the season. Great, thanks.